Well, we are starting off 2023 with a bang. A fresh set of top plays from a full week of sports. Something that it seems like we've waited a month for. But these top plays, well worth the wait. So let's begin with number five. Flasher and Standing Rock facing off in the Mandan Holiday Tournament. Jab and Freeze beating the buzzer to end the first quarter. Giving him a foul to go with it. Part of a 28-point performance from Freeze in the title game. More from that one in just a second. Number four takes us to the ice. The Minotauros and Bobcats. Chase Lapinta making some filthy moves, drags it in front, waits for the shot, and scores to put Minot ahead. They go on to win the first of three games in a row against Bismarck. Number three, more hoops action. This time from the top team in the state, full wins Minnewakan, and it's dang dang right before the half, all the way from half court. Bang, just like that, sinking it with ease. The Indians remain undefeated after taking down Trinity. Number two takes us back to the Mandan Holiday Tournament. Standing Rock didn't lead all game, but down two with the clock ticking, Lance Bradley steps up and drains a three ball. That's the game winner. The Warriors taking the lead at the most important time to take home the Mandan Holiday Tournament trophy. And my top play this week, another game winner on the court. The Thompson Tommies tie with Bishop Ryan. Jacob Starcevich gets a steal, turns around, and gets a layup just before the final buzzer sounds. Incredible way to end the game there. A huge bounce back win for the Tommies over the number three team in the state as they get the win and Starcevich takes home our top play of the week. So we had some exciting ones this week. For sure, that was so exciting. Everybody ran over to him. <laughs> cool points for that, like five right there. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. Stay tuned. Coming up next, will it snow more?